Merry December everybody and welcome to another wee Christmassy video. I'm sorry I don't have any of my decorations on my Christmas tree up yet. Um, we're going to be doing that soon. I promise it'll all be up in time for the Christmas special on Christmas Day. So make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications because it'll be a special Christmassy video. You'll get to see my lovely Christmas tree and I'll... I'm doing a special video for you guys, you know, so we always do something nice around Christmas, so definitely subscribe, check that out. Now, today, I'm excited because look at what I found. This is a Quality Street Favourites inspired by the purple one. A couple of videos ago, I did the same thing, but based on the orange crunch. And if you've watched my Christmas special from last year, uh, spoiler alert, you'll know that the Orange Crunch is the best quality street. Anyone who says otherwise is wrong. It is the best one by far. I actually went into that video thinking that the purple one was the best one. I had it in my head that that was the best one. That was my favourite because it's got nuts and it's got caramel in it and I tend to like that combination. I mean, my favourite chocolate bar is a Snickers. But it turns out the Orange Crunch... You know, when you're really analysing them, the Orange Crunch is supreme. And it had its own chocolate bar this year, which means that a lot of people must think so too, because they would have done their market research. Nestle aren't daft. They may be evil, but they're not daft. So this is obviously another popular one as well, the purple one. And I wasn't even looking for it. Like, seriously, I thought the Orange Crunch was the only one that was out, because that's what I saw in Tesco. But we happened to be in uh, Home Bargains. Was it B and M? One of the one of the one of those two, and you know one of those shops that sell a bunch of tat, and uh, they had lots of different stuff, chocolate, loads of Christmas stuff. You know, and, um, we're going to definitely get some more Christmas stuff out of there for sure. But they had this. I just saw it on the shelf there. I was like, what? Yes, they have the purple one. And then as I was going around the shop, they they had these everywhere. They had them at the counter, the checkout, they had them in places all at the end of the aisles and stuff. So they had loads of them. So I don't know if it's just they've managed to get their hands on all the stock. But this is the only place I've seen it so far. Uh, I think it was B is it B and M? It's either B and M or Home Bargains, one of the one of the two. If you're if you live in Glasgow, you know where the big Costco is? Um out just outside Deniston, there's a big Costco and there's a Tesco and then there's something else. It's along with an Aldi. It's it's that one. So if you live in Glasgow, you know where you know what I'm talking about. If you want to go and get one, right? Anyway, let's uh, have we look at this bad boy and see what it is all about. So yeah, based on the purple one, the, what the the I think the second best quality street from what I can remember doing my ranking. I still do love the purple one. Uh, is there is there any kind of Blurby bits on here. I don't think there was on the last one. Um, oh, it's there. Yeah, uh, milk chocolate with a caramel filling and toasted hazelnut pieces. Yummy. So there's all your ingredients. It'll be a bit different from the orange one. A lot of similarities, like the chocolate will be the same, obviously. And, um, of course, this has got nuts and caramel rather than orange and whatever those... I think the crunchy stuff in the orange creme was made out of, like, crystal sugar crystals. Something like that. Uh, so this is know your servings. Two pieces equals one serving, and these come. They come if it's the same as the orange one. It comes in like squares, like it breaks up into these squares. So per two pieces, ninety two calories, which would be about that much of a bar. So yes, yeah, that's, that's high. That that is high. Uh, five point three grams of fat, two point nine grams of saturated fats, ten grams of carbs, nine point two grams of sugar. It's a lot of sugar. Uh, 0 0.3 grams fiber, 0 0.8 grams protein, and 0 0.03 grams of salt. 87 gram bar in total. It does give you the pair 100 grams in here. So 525 pair 100 grams. So you're probably talking about 450, give or take, for the whole bar. Which, for that amount of chocolate, seems right. But also, chocolate is bad for you. Let's just call a spade a spade, right? Uh, so yeah, 87 grams. I'm surprised they didn't just make it 100 grams like everything else, but I guess they're trying to save money. It's suitable for vegetarians though, which is good. Good for you vegetarians. And uh, yeah, I mean, look at that. Look at all the reds. <laughs> Nothing but reds, apart from green, because there's barely any salt in it. Which, why would you need salt? You make it salted caramel, purple one. 
It's an idea for next year, Nestle. Do a, do a salted caramel purple one. Make it a special. Maybe there's one in every box. And only the head of the family gets it. Yeah. Right, I'm breaking it open. We're gonna eat this bad boy. If I can get it, there we go. It just smells like chocolate. It smells like quality street chocolates. I don't actually have a ten of quality streets yet. I haven't bought a ten of quality streets for this year. I've bought other sweets, but I've bought celebrations and I've bought roses just because they were on sale. They were like three pound fifty a box in uh, Tesco when I bought them. I need to get down and buy buy the rest of them before uh, they go back up in price in December. I mean, in uh, before they go back up and they've already gone back up in price because it's already December. Yeah, I film my videos in advance. It's the end of November as I film this. <laughs> if you're not in, if you're not clued up. All right, let's break this bad boy apart. All right, this is the Quality Street favorites, inspired by the purple one. Let's give it a taste test, shall we? See all the wee hazelnut flakes in the bottom. Now, of course, the purple one has a whole hazelnut in it. A whole hazelnut inside the caramel. You can see the wee nuts. Hmm. I'll be honest. This is delicious. It is really, really nice, but I am a bit disappointed. See, because one of the things you used to get with Cadbury's was a dairy milk, dairy milk whole nut. Right, so you buy it. It's a dairy milk bill and it's got whole bits of hazelnut through it. Whole hazelnuts. Fantastic, because you get you get the whole thing of hazelnuts. Now they only do like a chopped one, where you like chop bits of hazelnuts. I'm guessing the reason they do that is because it's cheaper to do it that way, because they don't have to use as many hazelnuts. Now, and it's it's not as good for that reason. And um, I'd have to say the same thing about this because it's not a whole hazelnut that's inside it. It's not as nice. The nuts add a nice little bit of crunch, but they don't make it overly nutty. I like my chocolate nutty. Caramel is okay. It's um very very sweet, quite sickly. I think you would get um you probably would get tired of that after a while. It's a bit too sweet. It's very, 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 very sweet on the tongue. Mm. Which is great in small doses, but eating the whole thing of it is a bit much. Oddly enough, I know this is inspired by the purple one and it's got caramel, it's got the nuts through it and everything. But... I reckon that actually tastes more like the green triangle one. Because that's semi, kind of, it's kind of a nutty flavour. It's got like truffle, is it truffle for it? I don't know what they call it, but that's nice. And I'm pretty sure that's got shredded bit, chopped bits of hazelnut through it as well. The green one. Correct me if I'm wrong. I mean, it's been like a year since I've had a quality streak. So I haven't eaten any since last Christmas. But yeah. Obviously, that's got the caramel, but the, the purple, uh, sorry, the green triangle one doesn't. But because it's sort of flat, it's like a thin layer of caramel as opposed to the whole the whole sh shed load of caramel you get in an actual purple one. It's not that caramelly, it's just very, very sweet. So, yeah, oddly enough, it's nice, it's really delicious, it's a bit rich, but it's not nutty enough for it to be a purple one. 
You don't get that full on munch of the the nut, the hazelnut. And I think because of that, it ends up tasting more like the green one than it does the purple one. They could have wrapped this in a green wrapper and said that it's inspired by the green one. Um, maybe taking the, change the caramel for that, that slightly full of fondant -y stuff or the truffle stuff or whatever, whatever it is they put in the middle of it. And people go, yeah, that tastes like the green one. I suppose the green ones are already quite flat, aren't they? So there's not a lot of point in doing that. Just sell them in bags. I would buy a bag of green ones, definitely. I'd buy a bag of purple ones. Definitely buy a bag of orange crunch ones. So yeah, nice, very tasty. Just a bit disappointed because it doesn't, doesn't taste like the purple one. I think that would be better if there was like a whole hazelnut in each one, right? I think that, that, would, that instead of the chopped hazelnuts would be better. Of course, I don't expect Quality Street to do that because it's cheaper to chop up nuts and put it through the chocolate because that way they'll have to use like three nuts instead of what would be about eight or nine nuts, eight or 10 nuts. How many things are there? Yeah, 10 squares, so it'd be 10 nuts, rather than what is probably only about three. Just not enough for my taste, so I think I'll go back to eating Snickers. But yeah, that'll do for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, and of course subscribe, and all that jazz. A few more Christmas videos to come. I've got a few things in the making. We've got Christmas Day video, we've got a Boxing Day video as well, that'll be nice and a special New Year's edition of the show as well. So I hope you tune in, I hope you subscribe, and I hope, if, you, if I don't see you before then, that you have yourselves a very special and a very Merry Christmas. And I will catch you guys when I catch you. Laters on the Menji.